Hi, Peter here again today, and today I want to talk again about mindfulness and meditation. And is it the work of the devil or opening us up to evil influences? I say this because there are still those opinions in society. In fact, uh, I am planning to conduct a teaching to junior primary at our local school and we're going out and giving, uh, asking for parental permission for students to be engaged in that activity. Because still there are people that worry that meditation is negative and will open you up and is religious based and that sort of thing. Um, and I want to counter that. Now, if you're looking at this video, you're probably not one of those people that are worried about the negative impacts of meditation. But perhaps you might uh, encounter these opinions in um, people in society and it's worth having an answer ready to explain to them that indeed that's not the case. So first of all, let's look at mindfulness because interestingly, the, when you say the word meditation, that's kind of got evil connotations to, to some people. Whereas if you say mindfulness, that's like scientific, so people don't worry about it. And if you say relaxation, that's okay too. So the word you use, even though really there's great crossover between them, um, you know, can, can influence it. So let's look at these terms exactly. So what is mindfulness, first of all? Now, the best definition I think of mindfulness is really just having your mind in the present moment. So being aware of your five senses of what's going on around you right here, right now, but also being aware of the thoughts that are coming up in your mind as well, which is in a way more important to being aware of that, uh, those thoughts. Um, another way to look at what is mindfulness is to look at what is the opposite. And the opposite to mindfulness is distraction. So being completely distracted and thinking about things which are not around us and which is often in the future, worrying about the future or being depressed about things that might have happened in the past or got ha rehashing things that are in the past. So you, your mind is distracted, it's away from what you are doing. Um, and so, so mindfulness is the opposite of that. Now mindfulness is like a quality of the mind. It brings about things like focus and calmness in your life and in your mind, being uh, concentrated and calm. And that in turn brings about other qualities like creativity, uh, like empathy for others and things like that. And then in turn, you know, being empathetic brings about even more qualities like compassion and open heartedness and things like that. So there's no argument, I think, with most people that mindfulness is a good quality of mind to have. It's like a mental muscle. It's like we build up the muscles of our body so we've got a healthy body. Well, if you build up mindfulness in the mind, you have a healthy mind because you under, you're aware of what's going on in your mind and you have more emotional regulation and control over the thoughts in your mind. So now we get to well, if this is a good quality, then how can we build up this muscle? Well, the best way to do it is through this practice called meditation, which is simply sitting quietly and bringing our mind back to the present moment and being here in the present moment and therefore being mindful and trying to be very aware of when distraction comes in and takes us away. And of course, in order to be mindful of the present moment, we need a meditation object or an object in the present moment to concentrate on. Now, again, the people who talk about meditation opening us up to evil and things like that often use the reason, well, if you empty your mind, then you make room for the devil to come in. Okay, that's an argument that I've, I've heard. Well, again, there's a misunderstanding there because em meditation is not about emptying your mind. Just try it. You can't do it. No one can empty their mind. If they empty their mind, they're dead. Okay, there are always thoughts going on in the mind. You know, at that conscious level, but even more so at the unconscious level. <clears throat> so... To understand that meditation is not emptying the mind, but it's focusing the mind onto an object 
in the present moment. <clears throat> it could be many objects in the present moment. You know, you can be mindful about doing something like driving or washing the dishes where you've got to be aware of different things. <clears throat> so uh, this is what meditation is. And so when you break it down into that simple definition, it is very clear that uh, mindfulness is a quality to be generated. And over thousands of years, people have developed up this idea of practice. Meditation is a practice, uh, which is the most powerful way to develop this mindfulness. And so that's all it is. Um, so uh, let me know if you agree with me. And if you do come across people in society that when you say you do meditation, they worry that you are um, giving in to the devil or you know, opening yourself up to spirits or whatever their um, misunderstanding is, this maybe is a simple way to help explain what it is that you do and why it's nothing to be afraid of. Okay, see you later.